get melted by blue fire. Yeah. How do you get the blue flame? Dude. Yeah. <laughs>
It was written by somebody who I mean, you had can, no business writing an article on video games. You can obviously tell they don't really play video games. Like, oh, uh, one, 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 one of those fucking They didn't understand genres. They didn't like. A, they wanted the game they were playing to be a different game specifically. Sure, sure, sure. sure. And they just used every opportunity they had because you know, Resident Evil, you run around, you find mm. herbs, first aid sprays, sure. first aid kits, all this stuff. And one of her complaints was that. She couldn't just leave them for other survivors. Like, what if like I, like, I want to be a healer? Like, it's like so, I know me personally in real life, I always carry around an emergency medical kit everywhere I go, and I've used it to save lives. And it was just that over and over, just every chance she could so get like, to make herself look like some kind of hero yeah, in real life, yeah, rather so like, than talking about because it's in a video game site, a video game article. Like, that's what we're here to read about, not you. Sure. Yeah. And the stuff about the video game was just so misinformed and just ridiculous. It's it's the worst article I've ever read. I mean, so basically, so basically, just so. And she I, tried to throw in racism into it for no oh, reason. Oh yeah, that was what even got oh, me there because cool. people there were all kinds of YouTube videos talking about this article because Dude. there's a there's a message at the beginning of the game where they're like where they're telling people they should gather at the police station because that's. They put a safe haven for survivors well, together, and, and, and that's and that's the whole point of the game. She yeah. immediately goes into, th so she's like, "This notion is wild." I think was an, an exact quote, oh, but because she's like, "No one, the police would never do this for people, and no one would feel safe there, especially people of color." Yeah. It's okay. like, bitch, in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think that their their top concern yeah. is racism. Like, yeah. and, and also. The game is made in Japan about a. It's about a, zombies. About a fictional city in America in 1998. Yeah. Like, do, we, do we not need to do anything with that other red crystal? No, it's it just a, a, a random chest. Something or like rupees or something. Okay, fair, fair enough. Or a heart. But like, Dude, she made so many logical logic leaps. Yeah. To to make her point stick to make herself look like some kind that's, of hero and you know and that's what that that uh that yeah. forum post you just said but, reminded me but of. like but like as as soon as i read it like i, I to get back to where we started like, I, I screen capped it and i sent it to bailey and i was like hashtag humble over here like i can't wait to see what other bullshit you write uh retweeted by humble right but our our first assignment our first real assignment which i'm actually pretty excited about is um did you ever uh, remember in Rocky and Bullwinkle they're like sketches called Fractured Fairy Tales? Uh, very vaguely. But it's so in fact, essentially what it is is like it's you you telling a fairy tale story and like there's a bunch of stuff different about it like okay, like no, either know. either like some of the characters have changed some motivations have changed just like something's different about it so we get to write one of those and uh, the. We had to read some fables for, uh, for context and stuff, and she gave us a list of all these fairy tales. And one that I found that I'm incredibly interested in, and that is the one I'm gonna do because I immediately thought of an idea for it, was um, it's this story called Godfather Death, and um, it's a story about this guy who has 12 kids, and he has a 13th. He's like, oh god, I don't know what I gotta do. I gotta find a godparent for my from my kid, from a thirteenth kid, and um, so basically, at different points in the story, God shows up and he's like, nah, I'm not. That's okay. You got other shit to worry about. Uh, then Satan shows up and he's like, no, you're Satan. And then uh, Death shows up. And that's when he's like, okay, cool, you can be my kid's godfather. Because Death offers him a deal that, like, if you make me his godfather, I will make him the best physician on the planet. Um, because with my help, he will always know who he can save and who he cannot. As long as he, like, listens, like, if Death is at the head of the patient's bed, then he can save them. If he's at the foot of the bed, then, unfortunately, they there's nothing that he can do. So... And he said, as long as you obey what I say, then you will have all this renown and what have you. Well, effectively, well, he doesn't fucking do that. So eventually the, the son uh, passes away. But like my idea is doing the same thing, but putting the Godfather into it. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to write it, but fuck, did I, 
it is it gonna be funny, I think. Here's so that's just like the line. premise they give you yes. and you have to like put your own spin on it? Yeah, pretty much. Here, and like neat. and she gave us like this this long list of like this resource of a ton of different fairy tales that like like you know that you could pick from and it was honestly too many you know like like I, I read that one a few times and I was like okay I could work with that so that's the one I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that's what I was gonna say a minute ago I didn't want to interrupt you but sure. the, the hero thing oh yeah oh I could talk about Would her you forever ever feel comfortable calling yourself that me call myself like a hero if, if I had all of Superman's powers Oh, I and don't. I saved a bunch of people. I, don't, I still don't think I'd be comfortable. Well, and see, like calling myself a hero to well, other people, like it's something other people have to do. Yeah, you. yeah, and like, and it was weird because like I don't, because I don't, because after the fact, I was like, I was like, well, I work at a pharmacy, and I didn't like suck my own dick like that, <laughs> you know, like I deal with a lot of sick people every day. But I'm still not like, oh, I'm a hero because I mean, I I've never saved a single one. I was like, I, I'm not, I was like, oh, I'm a hero because I counted, I can count by five, you know? Like, fuck, like, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, but, like, I've never, like, like, I, I understand that what I do, like, helps a lot of people. But, like, I never in my right mind would be like, yeah, I'm a fucking hero. Without me, fucking nobody would be, nobody would be alive. Nobody would do that. It's, ah, this fucking room. <laughs> Nobody would be alive. Nobody would be alive. You're you, all welcome. You're all life. You're all welcome because I I am a I am a pharmacy technician at a specialty pharmacy in Louisiana. Every dude, you fucking that got that guy. That was a good shot. Dude, Thanks. You fucking That's... wrecked his shit. Um, I used to be a really good shot in this game for something, but. <laughs> I've just completely lost all that capability. Well, that's what happens when you don't practice. That's what happens when you get old. It's true, my re reflexes ain't what they used to be. Dude. Fucking retweet. I, I, I won't do that, because I don't know how to use this newfangled technology like there's, Twitter. There's, there's, oh, you you bit on the, the twatter. The tweeter twooter. Twitter is... <laughs> okay. You been on the twooter. I don't think Twitter's near as bad as people like say it is. Like, I, I mean, I don't, honestly, it's better than Facebook. I, I the only reason I got a Facebook so much is I'm more used to using. Well, Facebook. yeah, because we've been using Facebook for since we were in fucking high school. I, I haven't. I didn't get it till college. Cause oh, really? At uh, prep, they told everybody they needed to make one. Oh, what a f what a fucking assignment! It wasn't like an assignment. It was just like a suggestion because it was it. And it was. It was used a lot. It I was mean, very helpful. I'm glad I did it. Facebook now... It, but it, it's not as good as it used to be. Like, I've, I've, been, I've been on Facebook for, like, quite a while now. Like, I think I got it in, like, 2007 or 8. Like, it's been a long time. That was about the same um, year I got it. Uh, that's when I started and, college. you know... It's just evolved into like this weird sort of like monster of a fucking platform. It is. It's It's so bogged down with ads and yeah. There is this there political is political stuff like the fact that they decide unless you go in there and change it what your affiliation is. Oh, and yeah. then show you that posts was a, from people on your that friends was, list that specifically that thing. have the same one. And, and then your feed just becomes a bunch of political nonsense, well, well, and I don't want any of that on my well, Facebook. Well, the thing, yeah. the, way that I, the way that I sort of look at it is that if you would, okay, I'm going to preface this by saying your political opinions are fine for you to have, and I encourage you to explore politics and find out where sort of like your viewpoints lie. But fuck, man, I don't care. But there's I, so, yeah. there's I so don't much care. other stuff. <laughs> you Starting know? to pay attention to politics was the worst decision of my fucking Dude, life. I know. Like, and like, I, I was big into it in 2016 because I was like, I'm gonna follow this shit, and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know what's happening. So like, I paid attention. It was hard not to follow that election. I, I paid attention. That election was a circus. Yeah, and this one's probably gonna be a circus oh, too. Oh yeah. Um, but like I was just paying attention and it just it's no matter how you feel about this administration 
It has I don't been, know that this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. It, it has been fucking exhausting. It's like every Sweet. day, every day there's a new there's a new fucking thing that like some dumbass did. <laughs> oh great, another thing I need to be angry about. I'm like fuck. I'm so I'm so tired. Like, all I want from my social media is stuff about video games and movies. Yeah, it's like can there be one day? Can there be one day when we just like we just don't? Where we just like. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's like National Beer Day, and everyone bros out and has a beer, and like, isn't a fucking shithead to somebody, you know? Like, maybe that. Here's a main boss, by the way. There he goes. Later. Well, alright. Yeah. This room is so cool. Yeah. It's very neat. What do we got? Iron boots! Oh, dip! Now we can go do the water temple! Iron boots. So heavy. Can't run. So heavy. Can't float. So, has there been any updates on Spider Man? Uh. <laughs> oh, we need to do plot. Never mind. Yeah. We meet again, Spanky. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. Thank God they can breathe underwater. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left ahead for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. That sucks. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. Clear water surface reflects rose. Oh yeah, she wanted to marry us, that's right. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. Alright, let's see if this is more of a banger than the Bolero of Fire. It's not. It's pretty good, but... Nope. I like how it's short it is. It's not that great, actually. <laughs> All right, so Bolero Fire is still the best. Uh, but to your answer about Spider-Man, last the last thing I saw was that video. Yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll share that. To yeah, and the the end of it, there was like Sony rep still says deal that can't be made. And I was like, I bet. Fucking bad. I've seen I fucking something about Sony saying that. I haven't heard Marvel say anything. Well, no, because they're probably just gonna let them fail at least one or two. Oh movies yeah, and then laugh at yeah, them. yeah, yeah. I don't think it'll be Spider-Man movies that suffer though. I think it'll be Venom two. Well, Venom well, two. Spider-Man will, but I don't know which one. Which ones are planned to come out first? I don't know. I don't know the timeline for them. But they, I know they have Venom two and another one. I know that they're working on. I know Venom two has Andy Serkis attached, which I'm so fucking hype about. Because I love Andy Serkis. That man, that man needs an Oscar, like, for sure. Like, just because I, I don't think Venom 2 is going to get a fair shot as of right now. I think Venom 2 has some interesting sort of, like, shoes to fill just because it's going to deal with Carnage for sure. Because they tease Cletus Cassidy at I the end. I love Carnage. Carnage is dope. And uh, he Carnage has a event, like a mini event happening. Well, I say mini event. It's like uh, actually a fair sized event. It's not War of the Realms big, but um, but it's a pretty big event that uh, it's called Max or Ultimate Carnage. I think is what it's called. I'll have no. to look into it. But it's like, that would make sense since it's Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, it's a uh, they already did Maximum Carnage. I think. I think it's Absolute Carnage. I think. No, oh, Absolute Carnage. I think it might be Absolute Which Carnage. Which one is Ultimate Spider-Man? Uh, well, there's. There's been a mo like a number of like Spider-Man runs like there's, oh, no, there's Amazing Spider-Man. There's Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Spectacular uh, Spider-Man, uh, Superior well, Spider-Man. I'm just saying, which one are we saying is Ultimate Spider-Man? Oh, uh, um, Ultimate Spider-Man was the. But like, are we saying Tom Holland oh. is that? Oh. Oh no, oh. I'm not. I'm not uh, saying it's like the, it's a classification. No, that no, no, like no. this is the it, Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm just saying there's, Ultimate there's, Carnage would make sense because it's Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah. Like the, the naming like convention would make sense. Um, but not. Did, did I tell you guys about Superior Spider-Man? No. Superior no. Spider-Man is a story in which 
Doc Ock. In which Marvel is involved. Uh, this is exactly the moment where I developed thalassophobia. This is the moment? Why? Yeah. Because it's, it's just a very unsettling it's feeling, so, sinking down into a yeah. deep pit of water. See, I found this part very peaceful um, and neat. But uh, Superior Spider-Man is a story where Dr. Otto Octavius gets terminal cancer, but he's managed to create a machine that will swap his consciousness with that of Peter Parker's. So Peter Parker becomes old cancer Otto Octavius, and... Uh, Otto Octavius becomes Spider-Man and he becomes just an incredibly dope Spider-Man like he realizes like oh what Spider-Man was doing was actually like important and like he needs to be here so he just like goes out and just becomes like a fucking dope Spider-Man hero and uh I mean if he thought he needed to be there so bad he should have switched his consciousness he, he, di he did he did eventually but he also he he I read a couple Superior Spider-Man books on Marvel Unlimited, um, where I don't know what happened, but like he made himself a new body, and uh, he still has the Spider-Man powers, which is weird. I don't know how that worked out, but that was pretty cool. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. Be entirely frightened. <laughs> it looks like you have had a hard time breathing underwater. You should evolve gills. I'll see you in a thousand years. <laughs> or I can give you these clothes. You won't choke underwater somehow. I Thanks. Don't, I don't know why. I don't know why we have it. We don't need it. We don't wear clothes. <clears throat> Even though my daughter should put more clothes on, to be completely honest. She's really? running around here like a trap! She's been going through some kind of phase lately. Were there other suits in uh, Majora's Mask? No. No, I don't think he's the only one that did that. That like as no, um, as they have. I know the the, the original games had the, the red and blue, but they just increased. Yeah, they, defense. Oh, uh, so you're talking about like like, like this is the only one that made them give have specific abilities. No, Twilight Princess did. That. Yeah, I was about to say, didn't Twilight Princess have it? I don't too? know. That's the one I haven't beaten. Yeah, Twilight Princess. I know, well. I know Twilight Princess had the like super magic armor that like only like was useful if you had rupees, and then it consistently drained your rupees like a fucking asshole. Yeah, and then whenever you were out of rupees, then you, you uh, couldn't move. Yeah. Like it would just slow you like you were wearing iron boots. Hmm. Sorry, I but you were invincible while you had rupees. You're invincible while you have rupees. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. So theoretically, did, did, could you go up to 999 rupees in that game, or was it... Or I think was so, it, uh, yeah. So yeah, you could like grind up like a thousand rupees and just like fucking go. Ugh, man. I really hope the Spider-Man drama gets settled, because honestly, I don't think the internet can fucking take more of that. One of, well, see, they, it they seems both, like both that it's companies gonna... just need to, to grow up and stop being so petty and, and just make a deal. Dude, yeah. like, figure it out. Like, honestly, like, like my, my understanding is that originally it was uh, Marvel and Disney had like 5% of the opening box office. It was 5% and yeah. they uh, had 95 It was like the first yeah. dollar or something. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. So. They and they wanted to make it 50. It, it, which, it which was honestly, 5% during the first day. Yeah. So so the 50-50 that they that they that like they offered It's a pretty massive leap. But I think which, the idea was to negotiate it down. Yeah, but like but like 50% of a billion dollars is still 500 like million dollars. Yeah, right. Like it's still a fuck ton the of money. Issue, I think is because Sony was also spending all the money to make those movies. No, but like, like if you go 50-50, split and, and, the and cost 50-50. I know, but like, I was getting to that. Yeah. Let's say you you pay... Because somebody gave a good example of it. Cause you, because you're, you're talking about putting whatever percentage of the production 50-50. Yeah. But, and say you spend $100 million... Yeah. Then you're both spending fifty million dollars, right? And then it makes a billion. And then, then you you're splitting this like 
five hundred million dollars. It's the it doesn't really even out like it's such a huge increase yeah. for Marvel and such a big decrease for Sony. I mean that Sony didn't want any part of it, and and I don't blame them for for turning that offer down. They didn't even make a counter offer. No, but like like you, think about it though. If like. One thing you also have to take into account is that uh, Marvel has 100% merchandising profits. They got that too, but like, but like, think about it. Think, think, think long term, right? Like, ten years ago, a Spider-Man movie wasn't gonna make a billion dollars. No. Now, now it has the potential to make two billion dollars. Yeah, because even if they had done another amazing Spider-Man movie, it did not stand to make that much money, no, honestly, because really people didn't like the, uh, the first two. Yeah, like, I liked them. The thing I, is, I it they does were so. fine. Like, yeah. I don't think, I think there was anything really, fun. like, that wrong with them, but yeah. they, were, they weren't as good as these. Oh, no. <laughs> like, you know, uh, Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man, uh, and Spider-Man belongs with the Avengers. I and, and, that, and that's another thing that, like, is, like, really upsetting me about this whole deal, is, like, is like he's so ingrained in the MCU now that like what the fuck are you gonna do? Like, so nothing. I was like, like, do you? I, I want to yell at both of them. Like, I wish both like, companies were a person because Marvel, you're, they're fine. Like they've got all these other franchises. Like, you're gonna make enough money. Oh, dude, no matter Marvel, what. Sony, Sony should be happy to get anything in my opinion because we all know where Spider-Man started and where he rightfully belongs. I will but say, but I do see. I know that they have done a lot with Spider-Man, and they do, like, try with it. I just, yeah. I wish they would just see that it doesn't matter what the deal ends up being. Everybody's walking away with a shit ton of money. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and like, I guarantee like, it's it not worth just walking away from like, the table and saying fuck that. Like honestly, I guarantee fifty percent of profits w with Marvel is still way more money than a hundred percent of the profits from them alone. Yeah. Like and they're not going to make nearly as much money as a Marvel Spider Man's going to make. And you gotta and especially right now, because everybody, like you said, is so ingrained with Spider Man being in the universe. He's yeah. a big deal in it now. It, like people aren't just going to accept that he's not in the Marvel universe anymore and oh, I guess I'm just gonna go watch the Sony one. No, that's like, not, no. That's exactly why I think all those movies are gonna suffer because somebody's gonna call for a boycott. Yeah. And some oh, people they, are they just already gonna have. get her and just have. not go watch. And, and I don't want that. I love superhero movies. I don't wanna I yeah. don't want them to be boycotted. But at the same time, like I kinda get it. Can I that just that just re reminded me of another thing that I saw on Facebook the other day. So, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home is getting theatrical DLC, and I swear to God... It's like they did with Endgame, right? Yeah. They just added, added some footage? Yeah. I, sw I swear to God, if that becomes a trend, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Because, like... I didn't go see the I didn't go. I didn't go see the Endgame. I wanted to, but I forgot. I mean, I kinda did too, but like... That was just once I found out what it was. I was like, oh, I'm not going for that. Yeah, I really want to see that scene though. Like, uh, I got the physical copy and I can't figure out how to get to the special features. Um, but like, see that shit I jumped over a ravine. But, like, cause cause Marvel inspired the cinematic universe, and I'd argue that there's maybe Marvel included maybe like three studios on the planet that could do that. That could make that could who has done it successfully besides Marvel. Um. I, you could argue Toho with Kevin it. Smith did it. Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith did, did it first. Um, but I guess you could argue Toho with the Godzilla verse that like because like all those films were loosely linked. Yeah. Um, I guess that counts. But, but like it just seems like sequels. Yeah, but like there's like I'd argue that there's very few people or very few studios on the planet that could that could create and and maintain a, an entire cinematic universe for as long as Marvel did, but yet every fucking body tried. Like, remember the Dark Universe? That's doing well, isn't it? What is that? Oh, that's the that was, movie that, that was Yeah. That, uh, that, was, uh, that was such a dope idea. I don't blame oh, them for trying. Oh, dope idea, but like, you gotta have pe and this is the thing. The DC one could have been dope if they'd taken DC, their time. DC could have been dope, but That they, was just as simple as taking your time. But, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I really, like, like, we rag on DC a lot, but, like, I love those characters, too. And I want to see, like, like honest it's to like, God. I, I, I like, want, I would love a DC extended universe that doesn't suck. Fuck, I would, yeah. I'd, I'd Absolutely. adore that. Fuck, yeah. Star the Wars. The problem is, 
The one we have sucks. Yeah, <laughs> like it's not good. Like start with start with somebody start with somebody relatively unknown, like Iron Man was at the time. Like I don't know who you do. Green Arrow. You could you could do like fucking. I still I just want a Green Arrow movie. Like yeah, you could do Green Arrow. You could fucking do like Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter would be crazy. Like you could do the world through his lens. Like like him coming to Earth and being like not knowing what the fuck to do. Hell, probably. I think honestly the best one to do. Um, would be like Supergirl, like Love Supergirl. like just because like everyone's fucking tired of Superman, but like she's she's got her own fucking deal going on, and like you could still have Kal El there, but also you know well that's the same reason um, I said uh, Green Arrow because yeah. it's a normal guy yeah it takes um, it takes a lot of money and makes it's Batman again yeah but kind of sick of Batman yeah people are getting tired of Batman but yeah I mean he um, does I agree he needs to be there once it gets yeah. going. Batman's integral. Don't start with him, though. No, I... He's done to death, for one thing. I mean, there's, like, if you do Batman, for the love of God, do not show his parents get shot in the alleyway again. I'm so fucking tired of seeing, uh... It's like Thomas when the inevitable, yeah, the Thomas inevitable and Martha Wayne, yeah, when the inevitable fucking Spider-Man reboot comes again. Yeah, don't show the fucking Uncle Ben scene again. We know. I thought it was brilliant that that uh, in the MCU just yeah, they, they, was just like they, it, it, you know Spider-Man's yeah, story. Let's like, go. Like he was. That's in. <clears throat> and fuck, that's like that's like what? And honestly, DC tried that. DC tried that with um, Suicide Squad. They tried that because they. But then they reshot so that's it. That's a bad one to do it with because not no, everybody but knows see, they, they re, Squad like, story. But like, the, like, it was about the characters. They were like, they they tried to do it. My understanding is they tried to do it in a way that like, like, oh, quote unquote, it's for the fans. Like, the fans know who these guys are. Like, they just kind of jumped into the story and didn't spend the first fucking hour of the movie expositing why all these dudes are bad and in jail. Like. You could do that later. Like, you could do it, like, you could write that clever dialogue where it's like, oh, yeah, Deadshot has this incredible, precise aim, and he's in jail for these reasons. Like, you could sprinkle that throughout the story. I got a lot to than, add to that, but we're over time. Ah, fuck. So, okay. in the next episode, uh, we'll next discuss episode. this further. Hell yeah. More Suicide like, Squad. Let's talk about like, movies. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts on cinematic universes and Spider-Man and all that good stuff. Dude, I said, you... uh, like, I was hyped, but that movie was bad. Bye. Dude, bye. <laughs> bye.